Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bianca and today I have a tutorial, mini review, and some swatches over the new Wet n Wild Fall Collection. I did get my hands on this collection when I found the new Melania Moore Matte Lip Creams, the new Fall Limited Edition ones. I did swatches over all 10 shades and I'll leave the link to that video down below. But I also got my hands on the new display of all the new Wet n Wild stuff. You know, sometimes searching for these collections is a hunt. So I'm super excited that I found it. I did wear this look minus this lippy. I had the Melania Moore Matte Lip Cream in Honey on. And I want to say my last two videos and I got a ton of requests to do a tutorial on the makeup look. So I filmed that tutorial, which is this video, which is this look, because... The eye look was created from one of the new little trios. Oh, Wet n Wild, they come out with some amazing limited edition stuff. I just wish they would take some of these items and add them to their permanent collection because they're so good, but they're limited edition. So when I hit pan on something, I'm like, <gasps> I'm never going to be able to get it again. And needless to say, many of you, this collection is bomb. It is amazing. You need to get your hands on it. So I have only ever found Wet n Wild like limited edition collections at Walgreens. They do carry Wet n Wild at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target. But as far as limited edition collections, I've only ever found them at Walgreens. So may the hunt begin at your local Walgreens store. So, in this collection, they had two eyeshadow trios. They had four liquid lipsticks. I'm wearing one on my lips right now. Like, is it not perfection for fall? And they also had, I want to say, three or four colored mascaras. Now, I'm really not into colored mascaras, so I just, like, passed on that. I want to say they had purple, brown, blue. I'd probably be lying if I went any further than that, but I want to say they did have three or four colored mascaras that I passed on. So the price point for these is absolutely amazing. $2.99 a piece for the liquid lipsticks and the eyeshadow trios. Can you beat that? Absolutely not. I'm so excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and just talk about the eyeshadow trios first. Absolutely love them. I have been wearing this little trio. This one is the Velour Vixen. This is like Bianca in a trio right here. Absolutely love it. My kind of brow bone highlight, which is a creamy matte vanilla. It is a little chalky. It kicks up some dust, but the crease shade is a beautiful maroon shade. It is a satin matte. <sighs> love it. And the bottom shade in pan, it appears to be like a black maroon burgundy shade, but it swatches more black. It does have some like chunky glitter that's kind of maroon, but you really don't get that effect when you apply it to your lid. I just absolutely love this palette. Okay, the next palette I've only played with once, just so that I could really see is it the same kind of formula because some, sometimes they're trios are hits and sometimes they're misses. And it's the exact same formula. It is so creamy. The shades in this palette are perfection. Okay, so this one is called Plaid to the Bone. Super cute name. The brow bone highlight is a beautiful like metallic bronzy meets silver color. And I wouldn't apply it to my brow bone at all. I applied it to my lid and loved it. It is so pretty. The middle shade is the crease shade, and it is like a teal navy blue. It is so pretty. It isn't as pigmented as the crease shade in the Velour Vixen palette, but to have that navy blue teal color to be such a pop of color in the crease, it is the perfect amount of pigment. The last shade is my absolute favorite shade in this palette. It is a duochrome, like bronze, navy, teal, turquoise color. It is so pretty. If you were to apply a white base to your lid, you're going to get one color. If you were to apply a black base to your lid, you are going to pick up a different color. It is perfection. For this little trio to only be $2.99, like Dear Wet n Wild, please make this duochrome shade a permanent item. It is so amazing. Those little trios are a steal. Get your hands on them. 
if you are not afraid of a little color or if you are just wanting to play with some color, you can't beat $2.99. Okay, next up are some Libby's. I'm currently wearing Don't Be a Plum Plum. So cute. And I love it. It is so deep and vampy. Again, these liquid lipsticks are $2.99. The formula is amazing. They do take a little bit to dry. As soon as you apply them on your lips, I did apply two coats for this. So I applied one full coat and it is a little tacky. So if you're not really into that, ugh, it is a little tacky for a little while. Then I applied a second coat and achieved this look and it took a couple of minutes to dry. But I love it. The outcome is perfection and $2.99. Okay, I also picked up Take It Like a Vamp. How cute is the name? Take It Like a Vamp. And it is even darker. It's almost like a black cherry. Absolutely love it. There is no fall collection without a red. And this one is How Fleek Is Your Love. And then they gave us a pink shade. You have to love a good old pink shade. This one leans more to the fuchsia side. And this one is called Too Tulip to Quit. This fall collection is to die for. I absolutely love it. I hope that you can get your hands on it. Okay, so now we will go ahead and get into a little tutorial. Hey guys, let's get this party started with the NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. You've been with me for a while, you know the stuff is bomb. Okay, next up I'm taking the NYX single eyeshadow in the shade Dance the Tides. This is a perfect crease transition shade, which I definitely needed to apply this first before I start packing on these bold colors. And I am applying it with a Wet n Wild crease brush. If you don't have one of these in your life yet, girl, what are you doing? Moving right along to the star of the show, the Velour Vixen Trio. My goodness, taking this crease shade and applying it to the crease. The brush that I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk one. It is a, a very small tapered blending brush, very similar to the MAC 217. Just saying. Oh, I just love this deep burgundy color. It is gorgeous. Now, the trick with this is you add a little bit, you blend a little bit. Add a little bit, blend a little bit. And then I'm going back with my crease brush and just blending those two shades together. I did take a little bit more of that Dance the Tide shades just to blend away any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm going in with a Sedona Lace EB13 brush. I have no idea about these brushes, but I got it in my Ips bag so you know I have to use it. And honestly, okay. So I'm using this brush to just like, it's clean and I'm just going to blend away any harsh lines without adding more product. This is so similar, if not exactly the same as to the Wet n Wild crease brush. And you know how I hauled like five of them from the DT. Yeah, they're all dirty, guilty so guilty but moving right along to the lid shade now this is a poppin lid shade oh my goodness it is so pigmented i'm applying it with a wet n wild brush i think this one's called the small concealer brush but i'm not really sure it's like a teeny tiny flat synthetic brush that is perfect for applying shades like this to the lid because it's going to do exactly that pick up product and slap it on that lid and this color is so black it is black. It does have a maroon tint to it. It does have some like maroon chunky glitter to it. It's so pretty and it kind of looks a little scary, but I promise you I'm gonna blend it all together and we're gonna get it popping. Now for the fun part. I'm taking that crease shade and packing it on with my finger over that black shade. I love it. Gives so much dimension that I'm obsessed with it. I'm taking another clean blending brush and just blending my life away. Next up, the brow bone highlight. I'm using another Wet n Wild. This is a their large flat shader brush, and I'm just popping that to the brow bone, which really pulls this look together. And of course, blending, blending, blending. Now I'm taking my Born This Way concealer and cleaning up those edges because they need to be cleaned. And just blending out that edge just to make it look a little more natural. Okay, going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. I'm going to go ahead and add a little liner. Let's go ahead and wing it out. Add a little mascara. Some false lashes off camera because I was having some technical difficulties. 
And moving along to contouring because I already have foundation on, but um, I didn't have any concealer on. So just give me a second. There it is. I finally realized, girl, you need to highlight. So I'm going back in with my Born This Way Too Faced Concealer, highlighting that under eye, chin, cupid's bow, and blending it out with this Moda brush. I think it's called like Lane Nickel. I'm gonna leave all this info in the description bar because I hear you guys. Every one of you, I see your comments. I'm gonna start leaving that info down below. Check it out. Okay, to set the highlighted area, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette that has been so well loved. That banana shade is life. For blush today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pearlescent Pink. And you know the funny thing is, I didn't realize how many Wet n Wild products I was using until now as I'm recording this voiceover. And I just love them. I'm obsessed with them. You need these products in your life. Okay? Okay, so I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And I am using Summer. <sighs> You know, and shame, shame on my lighting because it just, it's not popping like it is in real life. And I'm taking that same highlight shade and applying it to my inner corners. Then I'm going back in with that middle crease shade from the Velour Vixen palette. And I'm taking the Wet n Wild Angle Liner Brush and just lining my lower lashes with that shade and then smoking it out. Adding a little mascara. And it's time for lippies! So... I decided to use the lippy I was wearing in the video where this look was requested. And this is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. Limited edition, might I add, shade in honey. Ooh, honey. It is delicious. I love it. Okay, and I'm setting my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Gotta love this stuff. And voila, we have made it to the end. Here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.